Hi and welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, if not, hello and welcome for the first time. Today I'm going to be talking about Kling AI, which is a massive extension to my generation suite of tools out there. With the caveat, right now has exploded in popularity and their servers are struggling to deal with all the people trying to register, sign up, create images and free videos. So it is uh, a challenge to get the free ones. It's taking about 24 hours, but I'm sure they're sorted out. And I did email them and they're working on it now. Anyway, I will show you more about Kling in this video and show you some of the videos that I've created. Let's have a look now. So this is kling.ai.com. And let's go through it and give you as much as I know what I've been creating. So firstly, Kling AI, we go down the left hand side, they create some amazing videos. So uh, you can sort by video here. Pouring milk is pretty good. Some of the terrible ones I've seen. It's this one. Camel, they're pretty amazing. Dog swimming, lake, dog on a beach, a rabbit reading, and then Kind of like this one, it's a sci fi one. So let's just go through a couple of things. So we've got image first of all, so it creates images. For this, I would say it does create images. There are some amazing images, but I still use Mid Journey to create the images. But for I would say Mid Journey or, or Flux for this, let's show you some of the ones I've created. Oh, there we go. So it can do images. There's nothing wrong with these images. They're just not as good as Mid Journey and not as controllable, even though they're very good, as I say, and can do a reference image. But it's pretty cheap and they do all the different sizes that you will need to create video. And the great thing about Kling is that it will create from the image that you input the same size video, which is very good. So we can create one now for you and show you the speed of what we're going to do. Let's do strawberries. Eight. Let's do a 69, my favorite size and eight credits. Not a lot. I think it's like 20 cents or something like that. 20 pence, but it's pretty cheap. Give you some idea of the speed. There we go. And they're quite artistic images that I've found it keeps creating. So we can do is to photo stick and see if that helps us if I've spelled it correctly. Yep, which came out quite well, actually. Some of these abstract could use them. The right's not great. Some 70s kind of images. Let's go back to here. It's going slow now. Now I've taunted it and told it Told you it's slow. There's a portrait. Is oh yeah, you can see how many with the images actually you can go reference strength. Though with that you can say you can load an image and then say how much similar you want it to be. Still chunking away. Got this one really quick, didn't we? And then we got that one. Oh, right now it still hasn't generated those images. So I'm just going to show you some more on the video side. AI video. There's two ways of generating it. You can either prompt, which you put prompt in there. Do notice there's 2,500 characters, which is massive. And you can always go to GPT and get a big prompt, which I've done in the past, which works really well. Then you've got the setting of how creative or relevant to the prompt you want to make it. And if you sign up for premium, you can go to the professional mode there. The length doesn't support prompting for the standard mode, so no problem, but we can do that if we upgrade. And then we've got aspect ratio. As I said, you can create different size videos, which is really good. And then you've got camera movement, horizontal, vertical, zoom, pan, tilt, roll. And then you've got these lovely ones here as well. So you can do some really cool shots which we're not going to do now and really cool as well is the negative 
point option. The one that most people have been using and the one that really looks truly amazing is the image and prompt. So you can go from one image forwards or you can go from one image to another image which is the add frame section. So you can let's upload something now. So you could have to this one. So you go for this sci-fi imagery to this one. I'm not even going to click it now because it still hasn't regenerated my old video. As I say, they are struggling with server space, but that's how you do it. Let me show you some of the ones that I've done. Sorry, I can't show you it live because it's just struggling. All those people generating free ones. So let's see some stuff from the beginning and some of the amazing shots that I've done. Let's go back here. So this was an image to video. This was a flat. I uh, know it was a prompt. I forgot about that. It was a prompt which I got generated in in ChatGPT first of all. Which was pretty amazing. This one again a prompt so what i did was i asked for multiple scenes along a story and these were the images that it created and they're all pretty good a little bit sort of animated cartoony but i think the <clears throat> excuse me i think the thing that's really happening now is that even if it doesn't generate what you want you're getting something that you can actually use spacewalk really nice this is why i'm absolutely gutted about cling right now is because it's fantastic and that's that's its biggest problem that everyone loves it and they're using it so much so it's, it's struggling especially when you're not a member and that is a prompt a little bit of problem with the fingers there but still really good a woman repairs a satellite showing her skill and dedication, the camera capture her focus and the intricate details of her work. Medium close up, she communicates with mission control and briefly speaks to her husband on a video call. So there you go. Kind of there. So, sorry, this was a pro this was an image as well. Yeah, so we've got image and a prompt. I didn't use that shot, looked a bit weird, but this one I used. Really good. Next one. Not terrible. Oh, I did use this one. They're in the capsule. If you're creating something, you definitely can start with these, even if you don't use it inside the space station. This was quite weird. If you look over here, they actually create a couple of cyborg or robots in there as well. Not that one. This one. This one. Lighting, the shine. It's all very good. There you go, a couple of rules in the back. This one, I think there's been a lot of work on the faces. It's looking a lot better. This was a party scene. James, look at what else we've got. These were absolutely brilliant. We've got one to another, similar images. Things that even those shirt comes off there, it fits in. It's amazing. So this, I think. This is where Kling really comes into its own, where it's got one frame to another, which is really useful if you can generate something really, really nice in mid journey and then get it to this quality. And look at how different these are and how I look that to that. No, not that one. <laughs> this one, look, craziness even cuts the scene for you and so maybe it doesn't morph into that one but from that to that you can see now how you can really start to manipulate it's not always right but again you can just use it to see sometimes it goes a bit crazy and then you get something almost like a time lapse tiny dog testing a few things i think it's just the faces that really look amazing and I think a lot of these is a very, very good tip. I guess this has been trained on more Asian looking faces. Who knows? But I always look at the Asian faces and, and think how much better they are than the, the other ones, even though we're looking at these. The work that's been done on faces is fantastic. Look, it's just epic. So good. 
so good it's not right but it's so good again not right but great this one is just the earrings wobbling but i'm sure with a little bit of an edit a little bit of messing around you could do something like that some of these look oh it's not superb this is just a terrible one of me this is the one that made clean for me will smith eating spaghetti and he actually does superb so there we go and also if you upgrade to premium you can extend it maybe i should wait for them to sort their server out and i probably will and product shots not perfect but you can see how this is going to really be great for people with products it's not perfect but it's very good you see the top of the ring with the heart not working this is this for me again another brilliant brilliant shot so this was a, a story of a girl running away so i'll do the shots as we go again these are set up by ChatGPT. so i got ChatGPT to write the story and then set the scene and then give me the shots that i need to generate so i created them in in mid journey and then i put them with the direction from ChatGPT. it's amazing the lie pillow's not right but it's very good it's usable so this is her running away and it was a music video so you can see that that is quite usable and i zoomed in on that one and this one is not usable and changes into someone else this one is her at the door thinking about it so these are just and it's the same girl it's not exactly perfect but it, if you put them all together you know that it's her this is one of the pick epic I keep saying there's like every other shot is like brilliant but she's flirting with the the barista here it's mad how did it know to do that and then i'll show you the bad as well it's not horrendous it just doesn't look great and then you've got that which is not brilliant but walking through london so this is her running away i think i use this one is that extended that's no that was extended this is a 14 second clip still her isn't it still her and the lens flare from the sun oh it's great it is so good again not perfect but getting there and this another amazing amazing shot look at that and this one ended it so that was the five second and this is the longer version is it the same girl yeah pretty much and then i did some shots in london b-roll not so good the legs are weird more walking through the didn't like the other ones i think this is the best one no is it that one or is it this one no it's horrible maybe it's that first one that i just went past no i think i did those again because they were awful this was for another one a bit clunky that one then i did some aliens so these if you look at the two aliens so aliens in the ship so I have one alien shot and another alien shot, very similar of the same aliens. So yeah, it just did a great job at putting them together. It's definitely worth an extension, I think, that one. But then I did this, which was so good. So good. More alien ships flying through, flying through, which I didn't use, didn't like. But yeah, oh, this one. And we've got some faces. This is epic very blade runner-esque she's actually smoking but that was just tried it because it looked like blade runner kind of thing and then this again another one of those shots you just go wow this is epic so this was from flux this face explain about flux as well so if that is photo real and then mid journey is trying to go more real than photo real kind of thing it's trying to get better and better at doing that flux i would say is just here so it's it's just a little bit computer generated this side and, and reels there so just a little bit on the computer generated side which means a lot of the ai video generators can understand it better and 
enable it to to bend it and use it much better than maybe mid journey so i'll show you this now that's the terrible one so i regenerated it just amazing just amazing so you could wear 70s type barbarella is it barbarella video kind of stuff and the other thing with cling is that you haven't got the restrictions that you have in runway for runway if you put a famous person's name in as a, a photo so, so you put will smith in as a photo to upload to animate runway won't do it with cling doesn't care and it will do anything so that's a a little bit of animation there from the Beatles. Uh, easy album. And we've got these ones animating it. You can see it's just moving slightly. Uh, the two shots from Mid Journey, which are really amazing. Is what is coming out of this and this to this. So, yeah, not right. I, I'm sure if I worked on a blue eye because that's what it's trying to do is that she's got blue eyes which is um brown eyes there can't really see but uh he's working on doing that but glitch because of the eyes i'm sure that would work and the other tip is if you want to go to mid journey um and edit edit a image so this one you go down to there so you've got one image and a zoom in so you're zooming into that image so that means that what can happen is that between those two images you want some motion you, you're basically zooming in but it will create the motion to do it you can obviously do that by prompting but it is a great way of cheating as you see i've got one image here close up and then the motion where she blinks and you can see a little bit of hair movement is that the one not great that one's better to show you okay she blinks really slowly which is quite eerie as well the hair is moving a little bit this one there you go and this one okay i've been going through all of these and you can even do silly stuff like putting yourself in there and making you fly spaceships okay then so again they're having loads of problems with um space they told me to sign up, um, wouldn't just do that yet until they sorted themselves out, but it is an absolutely fantastic product. And really, if you're looking at creating an AI video, you definitely got to look at Kling um, when they sort themselves out. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, like and share and like, it'd be really cool. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks again.